Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building a two-motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and two Teslas. And this is episode 54. Sponsored by a wonderful Patreon Patreons team. Thank you very much guys for your generous help. If you would like to help me to create videos every week, you can support this channel through the links down below. I already made some footage about building the suspension, but uh, it wouldn't fit into the previous episodes. So let's take a look at that now and just continue after that. So what is the next step guys? It is the suspension design. I already started to work on it a little bit. We are going to have the airbags. They are originally on the rear. We will have only one over here. And I need to create some kind of custom bracket that will hold it. It will be bolt-on system for easy conversion. The problem is here that we have very little clearance between the steering arm and the axle and I really need this anchor point. And uh, there will be also the nut for the steering rod that will go here. But I already figured it out. As a material, we are going to use the uh, frame, part of the original Tatra frame that was sitting on the top of the chassis. The problem is it's, inside, it's outside buried under the pile of mess and it's freezing there that would be awesome it is freezing outside in the night it's like minus nine celsius what is it like <clears throat> 14 celsius uh, 14 fahrenheit i think and do you want the nissan leaf uh, body you can have it <laughs> that's a history okay here's that here are those rails I already partially uncovered that. Hopefully we'll be able to get it out. I might need to use the car. Can't move it with the car. Land Rover is in England. I have no keys for that pickup. <sighs> Guys, I tried to film it outside, but camera kept turning off for some reason. I don't know if it was to too cold for it. So here is the piece of the metal I brought from outside. This is the frame that was sitting on the top of the chassis and we are going to use this frame also for the box for the battery. Battery Tesla battery is supposed to be tall about 10 centimeters so we will be able to fit there two of them on the top of each other. And there is plenty of left for other applications so we are going to use it uh, for this purpose also i will need this part anyway to connect the shock so i will take it off and we'll cut it here and we are going to use this part for the bracket It's always better to reuse it while it's already here instead of making it from scratch. It would take many, many times longer to make something like this.
When I put money into this awesome machine, yes, it is Evolution 355, I wouldn't think it will be too small for my project. Obviously it is because I had to remove the vise in order to put this <laughs> the frame rail on, on the platform. So let's try it without that. Wow, it cuts like nothing. It's the first time I'm working with this. Oh my God. Oh guys, this is such a great machine. I wish just <laughs> this is just a little bit bigger. Look at that, how precise that cut is. That's amazing. Wow. I wish I can do that at once, so I don't have to try to catch it on another side. But overall, this is awesome tool. Guys, check this out. Uh, I have this nice piece of U channel of steel over here, and let's make the bracket. And before I put that U channel on that uh, on that axle to make the bracket, I need to remove this shock, the original one. We are not going to use it, we'll use different one. And I need to make some space, so I will try to move it. Oh, that's surprising, they are usually seized. Oh, there is even grease over here. <laughs> wow, it's hard to believe. How about second one? I think I will have to cut off the bottom of the, of the shock. We burned a little bit of rubber here. This tube is solid here. So we have both shocks out. Check this out. We have plenty of room now over here for the airbags on both sides. And now I will try to explain you how I'm going to make the bracket. I will try my best, maybe, hopefully you will understand that. I'm going to make a bolt-on kit for easy conversion for everybody. No welding required. We have a pretty tight space over here. The worst is that this steering arm and the steering rod over here are not giving us a lot of room. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this U-channel I just cut and uh, I will cut it somehow like this, like that, and take this off. Then I will put it on the top of this. <clears throat> I will grind down kind of like uh, end points on this little bit and on this, po this point, so it will be fixed in the place. It will not slide above these round edges on both sides. I'm going to anchor it uh, to this point and also I'm going to anchor it to this point over here. And the main connection will be through the U-bolts. I'm going to put here and over here. The front axle is a little bit smaller di diameter than the rear axle, so I cannot use these original U-bolts, but I already found some aftermarket ones, they will, they will fit. This is the first part of the bracket, 
and its purpose is to be perfectly tightly fixed into the half axle. Guys, I have the top of the half axle perfectly leveled. This spot, this spot, and all this spot is one level, so the bracket over here will perfectly sit there. And now I need to cut that bracket something like that. I will get rid of that, and then I will put, be able to put it on the top of it. It will fit over here, and part of it will be here because we need this anchor point to secure this bracket. Two weeks later. Guys, check this out. It fits perfectly there. I am waiting for U-bolts. I will drill exactly the holes in the middle and then the U-bolts uh, will determine the middle position of the bracket. After that, we are going to put the U-bolt over here and also we'll put flat metal over here, U-bolt here, welded here or maybe two holes over here and bolts and it will be secured on the spot. And the second part of the bracket will be basically the platform for this airbag. We need to create something that would sit on this first bracket, it will be bolted on, and at the same time it would let go through the steering arm with the ball joint and the rod. Let's go!
Take a look guys, it's already there. It will be placed like this. It's half of the second part of the bracket and we need to make sure that it will be clear that it is or that will not hit it. Oh, wow! Have you seen that? Wow! <laughs> Few millimeters over here. Have you seen that? Wow! I got it! Look at that! That's awesome. And now let's make the second part of the second bracket, kind of base where that airbag will sit on and we'll put it on the top of this. Wow, that's beautiful! Check this out guys, the base for the suspension is pretty much done. Of course, I will tweak it a little bit. I'm going to put brace inside. I will weld these two pieces together. I will grind down the edges, make it a little bit nicer. But this is pretty much it. Awesome! And let's check the clearance. Amazing. The next day. Hey everybody, it's another day and we will continue today on suspension. And the next step is to make the top bracket for the airbag over here. And we are going to make it from this. This is original bracket for, from the same Tatra for the rear axle, where the axle was placed over here and mounted to it uh, with two U-bolts over here. And here's obviously the original shock that works for the airbags. There were two airbags, one here, one there. What you are going to do is we are going to cut off the bottom plate, cut off these brackets over here, drill one hole over here for this bolt over here, and obviously flip it uh, over. And we will weld to it some vertical part of this bracket and we'll mount it to this point and this point. We have plenty of material here. These brackets, there are four of them in each Tatra, so we have eight of them here. Let's go! So guys, it wasn't even uh, too difficult. We got it separated and we are going to use only this part. There are a lot of scales over here, but with this thickness, I don't even care if the, that reinforcement over here is there or not. Simply too strong.
Guys, check this out. It looks amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Can you imagine uh, the final look of that? It will be definitely exposed because it looks so damn cool. I have to work a little bit with the shape of the bottom. I think the next one will be the final and will look much better. But this is absolutely sick. Wow, I love it. And this will be it for today, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you don't want me to pause the video production because I need to work abroad to fund it, please consider to become a patron. Just one dollar a month makes a lot of difference for me and no difference for you. Thanks for watching. See you on Tuesday.